We are going to learn how to parse simple JSON from string in Android. Hello my friends and welcome to Master Coding channel. If you want to learn coding and start your programming career, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe and like so you help us making new tutorials. Let's begin. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to parse simple JSON from a string in Java and Android. So for parsing a JSON object, we will create an object of class JSON object and specify a string containing JSON data to it. Its syntax is. Remember, JSON object is built in for in Android. So and Java. So string in, I will call it i am and json object i called it reader equal new json object and we send it and pass the string uh, i am or in the last step is to parse the json a json file consists of different objects with different key value pairs as i told you in the previous video so json object has a separate function of for parsing each of the components of a JSON file. What does this mean? Its syntax is JSON object and the name of the object equal to reader dot get JSON object and system, which is uh, the the key of the uh, object, the key of the JSON object, and the country equals sys dot get string. In this way, we are getting the country name and we are going to get the value from this by accessing the json object called sys i told you in the previous video how to access the json object but uh, in a real example we are going to clarify these uh, methods and these uh, functions the method get json object returns the json object the method get string returns the string value of a specific key a part of these methods are other methods provided in the class for better parsing json file these methods are listed below we will see in in uh, android maybe it different uh, it differ from a little bit but uh, we will configure it uh, in a professional way First method is get and the string name. The method re just returns a value, but in for in the form of object type. The sec is the second uh, method is called get boolean and passing uh, having the parameter string and uh, of type uh, string and called name. This method returns the boolean value specific by the specified by the key, and get double is also getting the double and get in returns the integer get long returns the long length return the number of uh, name or the value mappings of the object and the name this method returns or an array containing the string names in this object so let's take the first app uh, in our json uh, course let's go to uh, the android studio create your a new project and uh, let's uh, add two text views in this layout this is the first text view and i will give it a id called name just configuring its constraints and dragging dropping another text view this is for salary remember guys you can download the the source codes from the description below in udemy and you can uh, download all these uh, pay, uh, these lessons return lessons from master coding application found on play store so don't miss to rate us five stars on udemy and uh, youtube subscribe and rate us five stars on play store now let's configure the widgets text view and declaring text views name and the salary this is for json string i will create a json string that we are going to, de de to derive the data from it so 
the the goal of this application the aim of this application is to parse the json and transform it into a written language and written text that the user can read easily and the application can read easily i am writing what in in the language of json so this is the way that json uh, understand the object so this is the json object i told you it start by curly braces and uh, this uh, having a name and also having a salary key in this uh, object so if you didn't understand this this writings please go back to the to the previous video and under and watch it well to understand the syntax of json okay now let's create two strings i will uh, i will then change them because uh, they are the same as a name and salary of the text of use but till now it's good name equal find view by id getting the reference for text of use and salary also the same so remember guys uh this this json, json syntax is not that complicated but you should be uh, practicing practice guys practice practice is the key practice you can understand everything in the world and be professional by practicing so go and practice for json and watch uh, the previous video in order to understand well the json format so in order to get the json we will start by trying to uh, by trying to configure and fetch the data from json and catch the exceptions get json object from json file i will start by json object as i told you i will create an object and in android we start by creating a new json object and this will handle uh, an error because we didn't add the catch close when we add the catch close the error has uh, removed so we st start by try and we start by uh, we end by catch in order to catch exceptions the second step for fetching the json is the fetching json object named employee as i told you in the string above that in order to access the object of uh, the json object we put the name of object and we put dot and we get the json object which is named employee i hope you understand exactly how the syntax of uh, json works okay now let's take uh, getting the employee name and salary so we will start by the, remember guys this is a simple very simple uh, application and this is the this is the building block for json parsing so we will start by simple and to make complex applications like e-commerce and uh, social media but don't worry guys we are going in the right place just keep watching our videos and keep practicing open your android studio and write these codes uh, uh, now because you didn't you are not able to memorize everything except in you if you practice them now i'm just getting the string from uh, a employee object as i told you guys remember remember in order to access the objects we start by dot the, the object the json object and dot get json object and after that we when we have created an object of uh, type json object we can get its string get it name int get everything but in this tutorial we are going to just get the strings so now 
I'm changing the variables here, the variable string, adding the Y for them, and setting the text name to, to uh, name and adding the variable namey and salary, adding salary and the salary double Y uh, variable. Okay, salary Y. And in this way, we have done with our uh, application, simple application. So in this way, we are going to fetch simple uh, JSON objects. Let's run and see. And here we go, guys. This is the name and this is the salary fetched exactly from the strings and uh, the, from the JSON. JSON's. Thank you guys. See you next videos.